Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little look here at Android P for the Nokia 7 Plus. Uh, this is the uh, latest update to Android which is available on the Nokia website. You can get it on your device by doing uh, a little bit of ADB work. And uh, Once you do get it on you can see getting a fresh new interface here. Gone is the back and multitasking button. You're now just left with a home button. Uh, you do have as well a nice new kind of notification uh, and quick toggle area. Uh, which is coming with circles now as well as the white background that we do know and love the settings as well looks pretty fresh you can see it's more colorful now uh, if we just go into the system you can see uh, we have the system update here it says android patch level of may 2018 so that's very up to date as you come out something you can see it's much more different in terms of the uh, like uh, you know animations and that looks pretty fresh and cool uh, you still have the ability to go into the app drawer and also the uh, home settings is now accessible as you can see from the uh, shortcuts area uh, I think you can also you can see still do pretty much everything you used to be able to do on the previous version of Android, so which is get into the you know the um, force touch kind of area, and also let's have a look at the camera here. Uh, some people complain about the Nokia camera that it's not that good. Uh, I don't think you've done too much in regards to the uh, interface. It still looks a little bit rough to me, like uh, you know it could do with a bit of sprucing up, but. Uh, it, it does the job, you know, you can install a Google camera, I think, for some devices uh, if you want slightly better quality photos. And also, let's have a look at the other settings, see if we can see anything here in the display. So, uh, in the display we have pretty much, I think, the same here. Uh, not uh, hugely different. Uh, let's go back again. I do like these animations. They look quite floaty. I mean, you can see they're going in and out of stuff. So you can see the accounts is still here. Uh, you Google preferences, battery. Uh, really like the way the, the battery information is shown on Android. It's completely blowing away. Uh, you know the iOS when it comes to the battery information you can see it's actually telling you that it's in good shape and how long it's expected to run uh, you can put the battery percentage on obviously if you want so have a look at your basic stuff like the dialer pretty similar to before not hugely different as you can see uh, it does the job you know in terms of that messaging again quite similar to before I'm guessing you still have the ability to do uh, a lot of emojis as you can see. I don't think there's a hugely different amount there. So I'll look at the um, lock screen. So you've got that feedback thing which I can't get rid of. Uh, it looks like they've gotten rid of the camera and the dialer area but maybe they got rid of that ages ago. Uh, you can see it looks very similar to before. Uh, so it looks quite clean. I'm guessing there's going to be also some improvements under the hood, you know, in terms of uh, the battery life, the uh, functionality. And I've also read that it's trying to make you use your phone a bit less as well. Uh, on some phones, anyway, it's going to allow for the screen to go like black and white uh, to give you less eye strain, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, but as I said, you know, this is available now if you want to get it on. Um, you will have to download the ADB package and side, side load it on. Uh, not the easiest way, you know, I would like to have seen a way of just doing it via the OTA, but uh, it's nice that it has come down here. I mean, it seems pretty stable, you know, it's not crashed on me or anything uh, since using it. Still don't know how to do the multitasking though. Maybe, oh yes, yeah, so, so you do the multitasking like that now. It's more of a gesture, uh, kind of iPhone 10 way of doing it, uh, which will take some getting used to, I think, <laughs> really. But it's nice that they're trying new things. I'm guessing the uh, multi, uh, yeah, the multitasking still works. Let's just see if that is the case. 
so grab can you grab it like this so you're keeping me sharp you see trying to change the way you do things so that's how you swipe away stuff how do you do the multitasking that is a mystery that we're going to have to try and find out must be a way of doing it I can't imagine that they would have gotten rid of it so yeah you can see you know if you've never if you've never used Android P before you know I have a lot of fun trying to figure out how to do things but maybe I'll have a look at a help video <laughs> and figure that out but yeah just a quick little video checking out Android P latest Android uh, for 2018 hope you find it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers